Yo, Elliot, my situation is a college environment, trying to understand the culture. I'm 28 and on my way to finishing my four year undergrad by 2024. By that point, it will have taken me six years to earn it and I have had quite the journey. Knee surgery, major depression, obesity, and the online education format. All have been obstacles during the pursuit. Now I have felt I have feet planted firmly on the ground and I'm making steady progress to be prepared for a full load of courses coming this fall. I have a crush, my chemistry TA, teacher's assistant, young, beautiful, and intelligent. I plan to make my move at the end of the semester to keep it professional during the learning process and not make it seem like I'm eager to jump into an intimate encounter. In conjecture with this plan of attack, conjunction with this plan of attack, I feel like I must prove to her that I'm willing to learn from her and put in the work to master her trade. Can I really master chemistry? I'm growing more curious about this topic every day. At the moment, I think she notices my effort. I gave her a compliment about her shoes last week during recit uh, recitation. I think this should be the one. However, I re realize I'm creating these scenarios in my head. You are, and I understand her as she is. Okay. Now, we got to stop as men thinking that women think like we think. And if you're trying to get her attention by means through the means by which you think she should get your attention, you're going to be completely thrown off and confused. You're in school and you want to be the best at what you're doing. And that is legitimate for building a frame as a man. You need to master chemistry, but not for her. That's so key. I need you to separate the two because not only... Are you trying to b build your frame based on the presumed reaction of a woman? But women aren't impressed by that. She's not going to be impressed by you because you mastered her trade. In fact, she may even be threatened by you if she's the feminist type, which most women in colleges are. Got to warn you. Understand this. Men vet other men. Men judge other men by their proficiency and mastery and abilities in particular areas of work. A man who's a master at something will receive lots of adulation, lots of admiration, lots of respect from other men. Wow, this guy is amazing. I want to be like that guy. I look up to that guy. Women don't care if you're proficient at a thing. They care about how you make them feel. Let me put it this way. A woman, let's use professional sports as an example because it makes you guys can see it better. A woman isn't watching a professional basketball player like, whoa, look at his moves. Whoa, look how many points he scored. Whoa, look at how he juked that guy. Look at how he made that pass. Look at how he got that rebound. She's not looking at that the same way a man is looking at that. A man is looking at that and he sees mastery. So he's impressed, as we should be. That's how men, that's how men create hierarchy. Mastery, right? Some people are masters at leaders, leadership. That means they should, wow, that man should be a leader. You don't want a slap dick who's not showing mastery. You Men won't hold him up. That's why women vote for Joe Biden and men vote for Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump exhibits mastery in leadership. Joe Biden just didn't get, I don't know why they would vote for him. But anyway, they vote for him because of the cushy feelings he gives them about open borders. I don't know. And that, I don't know, there's other dumb things. But women vote Democrat. Men vote Republican in America anyway. Because we're looking for mastery and leadership. Men look for mastery. Women are trying to get a feeling. So to go back to that basketball player. She's not attracted to that basketball player because he hit a bunch of three-pointers. 
she's attracted to that basketball player because she knows all the other women are attracted to that basketball player and that makes her feel something about it. She feels something, it's emotional. And there's a way for a man to carry herself to make a woman feel. Any, any feeling is better than no feeling if you're trying to attract a woman. Do you ever notice that women, they like the bad guy? Like, I'm thinking about you in your class. This is going to be the funniest thing. You go into this class and you try to be the teacher's pet. Top of the line. Producing mastery. Great future ahead of you. And she's going to go have sex with the loser. It happens time and time again. Because the loser makes her feel some kind of way. You don't make her feel any way. And if you are, this is just so weird with women, but look, we got to stop. We got to think. We, real men are interested in, in female nature. We have to be. Otherwise, we'll get tricked. You try to impress her with your, with your chemistry skills, number one. I, that's not going to work, especially since it's her mastery. But anyway, not only that, but now you complimenting her will just make her feel icky towards you. Even if you are a, a 4.0 student in that class, you produce, showing yourself as a high value man of mastery that then stoops down to complimenting her on her shoes makes her feel less about you. You got to, and I know this sounds like you're, it's game. It's game. There's, you need to learn game. Whoever's teaching game right now, I don't know who it is, but it's a good idea to learn game. Like I know Tyler Durden used to do it. Jason Capital used to do it. These guys have, a, have moved beyond that, but learning game. You got to learn this. You got to understand because what game does is it teaches you female nature. It sounds crazy. It sounds manipulative, but you need to understand this stuff. She, if you tell her nice shoes, she don't have no feelings about that. You know why? She knows they're nice. That's why she bought them. But if you say to her, those are some weird looking shoes. What are you, an elf? Right? Or you say, oh, they look like the shoes that Dorothy was wearing in Wizard of Oz. Isn't that the 1950s? Right? Say her, say something like that, joking, kind of just playing with her, but Giving her a feeling, particularly if you make her feel self-conscious, she's going to melt for you, dude. She's going to go, she's going to act like she's angry. But you know what's so funny with women, bro? She'll act, she'll be offended because she's not going to know what to do at first. She'll be shocked. And that shock is what? A feeling. Whoa, that man just touched me. You literally touched her without touching her. This is what women want. They want to be touched without being touched. That means you got to either make her laugh, you got to make her feel some sort of conflicted way, right? What just happened just now? Make her self-conscious. Now she's feeling something about herself. You got to make her feel some kind of way. Right? I'm giving you tips, not to manipulate, but so that you understand the difference between male and female nature, right? You got to go in there and you got to do the best that you can in your class for you. And you got to remove all sense of, of impressing her. In fact, you want to do the opposite of impressing her. I know this is going to sound crazy. You don't want to impress her. You want to depress her. You want, I don't know if depress is the right way. I'm just trying to rhyme and stuff. But you want her to make her feel some kind of way. Can I really master chemistry? You can master chemistry if it's for the right reason. I have a crush. I'm just picking out things in your question here. I have a crush. Don't have a crush. Never have a crush. Never, ever, ever have a crush because a crush means that you're illogical. It means you, only women have crushes. Women are allowed to have crushes because of everything I'm talking about right now. Women are swept up by emotions. You shouldn't be swept up by any kind of feeling any kind of way about her. Except, will she make a good wife? If she's making you feel some kind of way, you need to distance yourself from that feeling and say, will she make a good wife? And I don't know if a chemistry teacher in college is going to make a good wife, but that's up to you. Right? These women, university women in general, I don't think will make a good wife. But hey, and that's not across the board. That's in general. 
You got to forget having a crush with her. You need to get her out of your mind completely. And this is dangerous territory because she's your, she's your superior. I don't think that's a good idea. A superior, is, is especially a woman who is superior to a man in a superior situation, will always look down upon you. Women, women want to look up to a man. She don't want to look down upon you. You have to give her a reason to look up to you. And if you become good at what she's doing, she's going to see you as competition. She's not going to see you as somebody to look up to. Right? And then again, you don't, you don't want to impress her again. You want, you want her to feel some kind of way about you. And you do that by the things I'm telling you right now, plus much, much more if you study the guys that teach this stuff. I'm growing, he says, can I, I'm growing more curious about the topic of chemistry. Yeah, but do it for the right reasons. At the moment, I think she notices my effort. Who cares if she notices your effort? You don't want her to notice anything. You want her to feel something. I know I'm a broken record now. I gave her a compliment. Don't do that ever again. I know this could be the one. No, she's not the one. Don't ever think about a woman as the one. You think the one is where this term one-itis comes from. You don't want to have a one. You want to have a prospect for a good wife. Don't, fellas, don't ever approach me with, and you, I know you're new, you must be new to be talking this way. Don't ever approach me with this woman could be the one. I don't believe that. Say she is a legitimate prospect for becoming a wife. No, not even becoming a wife. She's a legitimate wife prospect because it means she's a wife before. You don't have to teach a woman how to be a wife. So that's my opinion on that, dude, done. Yo, are you ready to become a king in your life? If so, I'm looking for a few more guys that I can work closely with in order to help them dominate in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, then just go over to my Instagram account and DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. My team will get back to you with the details. If you're able to message me today, I can guarantee you that you'll be able to work closely with me. So DM me the word king on my Instagram and I'll get back to you with the details right away.